Hey guys, and welcome back to Carving a Small Owl with Just Hand Tools. I'm Kevin, and let's continue our project. Uh, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to pick up our little owl and I'm going to get a piece of emery cloth or 220 and pretty light grit and go over the whole thing. I want to smooth out his head, I want to smooth out all the little cut lines, smooth his eyes, try and get in between anything the knife dug up. So go around your carving and Clean them up as good as you can with sandpaper. You don't need a heavy grit, of course. Uh, I'm using cottonwood bark, so I try to keep it fairly light grit, like 220 or so. And uh, any lines in here that aren't cleaned up, try and clean up, and we can always recut them with our retool if we don't like them. Okay, that should do it. Make sure you brush it off, and we should be good to go. Okay. We got the back here. I got to smooth that out a little bit more. Let's see here. Make sure you brush all that stuff off so you don't dull your tools because once you get that grit on your carving again don't want to run your knife through there okay now once it's clean I'm just going to take some white paint uh, this right here is just an acrylic paint and I'm going to go over the whole carving with it okay I'm using titanium white here for this and we're just going to cover the whole thing and I'll speed up the process so you don't have to watch all of my painting and I'm going to paint him basic for the video, but once the video is done, I'm probably going to dress him up a little bit more, and I'll show you the end result uh, in a photo, and maybe place that as a thumbnail so you guys can see exactly what I like to do with the paint. Now, the better you can paint, of course, the more interesting you can make this guy, but we're just going to do a basic paint job in the beginning for you guys, and then I'll dress him up so I can sell him or something, uh, give him to my daughter or something. She likes owls at the end okay I'm not gonna go through that process though because that's a whole other teaching set of videos <laughs> okay so let's get him painted up ah the beauty of fast forward <laughs> so you guys don't have to watch this whole process so I'm basically just gonna cover this whole piece of wood with white paint for now and I'll give it a couple of coats and let it dry in between Okay, you can also hit it with a blow dryer to make it dry faster if you're in a hurry. Then once I have it dry, I'll take a brown burlap, uh, not burlap, a brown paper bag and I'll wipe down the whole carving with it. Kind of varnishes it, smooths it out, makes it easier to put more paint on. It gives it kind of a shiny look, but uh, it takes a lot of the grooves and smooths the paint down makes painting easier. Okay. Now once he's all dry, it's time to start adding colors. Now this whole thing... It's a very simple carving. You see how quick it was carved. Uh, we really didn't do much work. It's the paint job that can make really make or break these little quickies, these quick carves that we do. So I'm just going to be taking some black and putting it around those eyeballs there. And I'm still not being too meticulous because if I splash or anything, I'm really not worried about it because we can always just cover it up and put white on again. Okay, and I'll show you how to clean it up as we go. Uh, see that smudge there? Don't worry about it. We're just going to paint over that with white. Okay? So don't worry about it too much. We'll clean the brush off here. And we got the eyes painted black now. Now we're going to come back with a little bit tinier brush. Okay, and we're going to go in between and we're going to go around and outline those big circles that we cut in with our V tool. And again, don't worry about it if you overpaint. Uh, when I start doing more advanced painting techniques, as a matter of fact, I'll take some of that paint and I'll pull it into the center. And I'll show you in the photo what I actually do to this little bird after a while. But we'll give you guys a nice simple paint job that all of you can do. And then I'll post a picture at the end of what the finished style looks like. But for now, we're just going around, not really worrying too much. Trying to get those circles painted in black. Okay. I'll use a smaller brush for that. And then we'll outline the wing here also. Okay. Okay, once that dries, I'm just going to take a little bit bigger brush and I'm going to start putting spots on them. Now, this can vary. You can do any kind of pattern you want, right? Uh, sometimes less is more. Or you can just put dots all over the whole thing. Try and keep it fairly 
in order, you know, so if you have a line going horizontal, you know, try to keep that line. But, uh, random dots work also. So we'll make him a little white spotted owl, or maybe a snow owl. I think snow owls are all white though, aren't they? Anyway, now I took some yellow and I did the next line, all right, underneath that black in our carving. And what I'm going to do after I put the yellow in is I'm going to take my small brush and do some more black. I'm going to outline that yellow with it. And this is a very old brush. It's actually got a bristles hanging off the end, so it's kind of hard for me to do it here. But I'll get my other brushes out afterwards and I'll clean this whole thing up. So again, I'm still not being real meticulous, but I'm trying to go across the top of the eye after I circle just some black around that yellow because that'll kind of highlight the yellow, and then we'll repaint the yellow afterwards when we do cleanup painting. Now try to go across the top and get in the corners a little bit here. So you kind of extend that eye a little bit over to the side, see that? There we go. And make sure you get some black underneath and around that yellow. Now the way to clean that up is to put more yellow once it dries and make your yellow the way you want it. Okay, now I'm going to go around with white again. And I'm going to clean up, painting over the black where I overpainted or I smeared or smudged something. And that's how you can clean that up pretty easy. Just taking the same color white we did the whole carving with. Even here, see how I can shake that beak down with white paint, but it'll leave the paint that's already on there, and you'll get a nice little shadow effect. I'll put a little bit of white in the center there, clean that up a little bit. So it's basically just messing around and playing with your paint. You can make this guy as simple or as fancy as you want. Now you start putting little hairs and stuff on him. Uh, you start adding some shading. You can make this guy look pretty, pretty darn cool for such a simple carve. Okay, and that right there is pretty much what uh, I'm going to leave you guys with for now. All right, and you can paint them however you want. And maybe down the road we'll do some more advanced painting techniques. But this right here is the basic little owl that we just made. He's just got some spots on him. He's got painted eyes. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my paints and try to do a little bit more advanced stuff and clean them up and see exactly how cool I can make this guy and I'll post the picture at the end of uh, this video. So I hope you enjoyed it. That's our first card with hand tools. Join me again for the next project and I'll see you in that video. Thanks for watching.